Keeping you informed everywhere. KSBY News starts right now. We say if you see something, say something. And this all came about because one little girl did see something and she reported it. The Atascadero teacher accused of producing child porn appears in court. The lawyer representing the families of the six girls who were allegedly exploited by Mr. Birdall speaks with KSBY. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for the News at 5. I'm Scott Daniels. And I'm Kathy Koretich. The Atascadero teacher charged with 44 felony counts related to the production and possession of child pornography involving 20 separate victims was in court. 48-year-old Chris Birdall stood before many of the alleged victims' families today. KSBY News reporter Alexa Bertola was in court and has the latest developments in this case. It was a packed courtroom as many of the victims' families awaited what's next. But Chris Birdall did not enter a plea and his arraignment was postponed for a couple of weeks. This is a bit of a disappointment for the families, but I can tell you, having spoken to them, they are resolved. They want to seek justice on both the criminal and the civil side, and they're going to see this through. Difficult to see and standing next to his lawyer, Chris Birdall was wearing a suit Monday morning. The sixth grade and visual arts teacher at Atascadero Fine Arts Academy is out of custody on $500,000 bail. 24 counts allege that Birdall used children under the age of 18 to pose for photographs depicting child pornography. They were, according to the district attorney's office, victims of upskirt videos where he surreptitiously used a recording device to take pictures up the skirts of these little girls. 24 additional counts allege he was in possession of child pornography. Some of the incidents allegedly go back a couple of years. In the courtroom, prosecutor Chris White said that a bail increase will be requested at the next hearing, given the disparity of the situation and just how many people it's impacted. To get to the truth. Lisa they Bloom is a lawyer representing more than a handful of families of the girls allegedly involved. They want answers. And in particular, we want to know what the school may have known about Mr. Burdell and not addressed. Children should be able to trust their teacher. They should be able to be alone with their teacher. That trust should not be violated. But something obviously went very wrong here. In the meantime, the judge signed off on several criminal protective orders that require Birdall to stay 100 yards away from the alleged victims and not have any electronic telephone or written contact with them. He's also not allowed to own any firearms. Birdall will be back in court for arraignment October 18th. In studio, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. We reached out to Chris Birdall's lawyer as well as the superintendent of Atascadero Unified School District but did not hear back. Previously, district officials said Birdall was placed on leave as soon as they learn of the allegations against him. 